Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the new Christopher Nolan film, Dunkirk. Des, what'd you think? Okay, this was, it's about World War II or mm -hmm. one? Two. Two. I don't know which World War it was. And uh, they're stranded on the beach and they just have to get across the channel. That's mm -hmm. it. But they're stuck there and anybody who's trying to rescue them is getting blown up. So, uh, ugh, it's a really good movie. It's mm -hmm. just high stakes the whole time. Now, I want to warn you, and this is not a spoiler, I don't think. There's a time element mm -hmm. in this movie that if I wasn't sitting next to my friend Chris and said, what is go? I don't understand why it's daytime in this guy and it's nighttime with that guy. They, they tell you at the very beginning, this storyline takes place in an hour. This storyline takes place in a day, and this storyline takes place in a week. And it just didn't go in my brain. I don't know. I wasn't. My dad didn't get that either afterwards when we were talking. Uh, see? Okay. You got it totally, though. And it really helped when she said that, that I, uh, that I understood. Oh, okay. That totally makes sense then. Because it does come back around, because the one who takes place in an hour, you see him in the day twice. Like, it comes back. You see, you see one part of it, and then you see it later. Anyway, it would have helped if someone had told me in advance. And so I'm telling you, just to make the movie more enjoyable, there's three timelines going on. Mm -hmm. But it's so well done. It is so well acted. It was, it was great. It was a great movie. Now, it's heavy, and it's army wartime movie. So it's not one of those that I'm going to be like, oh, let's go watch Dunkirk. But it's, I'm really glad I saw it, and I would recommend that you see it. What did you think? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was fantastic, too. Really, really good movie. And I I will say, though, I think for being a war movie about World War II, whatever, it's lighter, I think, than oh. most World War II movies are. Yeah. It's because it's bright. It's sunny for the most part. There's, like, this one nighttime part. But... Even though you know, like, it's heavy. Obviously, World War II is a heavy subject. But People dying. It's, it's not, like, so heavy. It's not, like, Detroit. It's not, like, oh, no. Not like, well, it's not even, like, Hacksaw Ridge or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's not. So yeah, it's, it's lighter. Times. It's lighter. Yeah. Um, it's Christopher Nolan writing and directing. And Christopher Nolan uh, is very talented, obviously, if you saw Inception. And he, uh, here's my, here's what I think. This is just between us. Uh <laughs> Is that Christopher Nolan for me is a little hit or miss because sometimes he's really like thoughtful and intellectual and sometimes he's like, I'm going to make a big blockbuster budget and it's going to be schmoo. Um, <laughs> for lack but, of a better word. And so I didn't know which way Dunkirk, honestly, I didn't know which way Dunkirk was going to go. Is it like, it's a summertime movie? So is it like Transformers where it's like, let's just shoot, 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 blah, 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 blah. Ours like have real like content and something deep to it. And it really does. He's... It's one of his yeah. best writings yeah, since Inception, like probably. And so I think the key is Tom, Christopher Nolan is really good when he works with Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy and him are the oh, key together. Okay. Um, for one thing, I love Tom Hardy. I can't even tell you enough. He's <laughs> such a good actor. He's so talented. So and he's good. so good in this movie. And you don't even... I knew it was him because I have watched so much Tom Hardy stuff that I could tell it was him just by his eyes. But you only see his eyes for the first yeah. like hours, hour of the movie, probably. Uh, so you have the no going in there. And Mark Rylance, who won an Oscar for Bridge of Spies, oh, so good. is just so, he's the he's the good, the heart, the moral compass of this movie. Side note, did you know he's going to be on Broadway? He's coming to Broadway mm -hmm. in a play, and I have a ticket. Oh, awesome. I'm so excited. Mark Rylance is fantastic, yeah. always. Uh, but there were a bunch of, uh, Fionn Whitehead, who plays uh, Tommy, he's kind of the guy who's like starts at the very beginning. You see him, and he kind of carries it through. It's fantastic. Harry Styles did a good job in it as well too, right. uh, and Barry Keegan and a bunch of people. Oh, Anurin Barnard, who plays like this guy who doesn't say a lot in it. Interesting. Mm. Cillian Murphy's in it. And he's fantastic too. Jack Loden. Uh, every all the people in it are really really good. Oh, and oh, what? Oh, what's his name? Kenneth Branagh. I was like, couldn't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kenneth Branagh has, and he's one emotional part. He's so good in too. Uh, so everyone, the whole cast is fantastic. Really, really they good. are. It's and good. it is beautifully shot. The, I thought the cinematography was great. And yeah. the score, 
was push in that movie the whole time. Uh, so really, really good, good score as well, too. I don't know who composed the score. Oh, Hans Zimmer. So that makes sense that it was very good. Uh, but it was just overall a very good. I, mean, I think you'll hear this come Oscar time, especially when you think about like cinematography and score and stuff like that. Uh, but even maybe Best Picture, that's what people are thinking. So we'll I say see. go see Dunkirk. It's, yeah. oh, it's a good movie. Very yeah. good movie. And see it in the theater because of the cinematography. Yeah. We saw an IMAX. I would recommend yeah. that yeah. IMAX. 